Hello guys, welcome to the first and hopefully not last adventure map that I record for my YouTube channel which you guys are watching this on, unless you guys are watching me, and I hope you aren't. <clears throat> anyway, this one is called The Jackal in the Cave, and it's based on a creepy pasta. Let's see if I can't find it uh, when I upload this, and I'll put it on the in the description, along with where you can download this. So let's load this up. All right. Hello. Please read the story dot text and rules dot text. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh. Here's a warning. This is not a normal adventure map. It relies heavily on the story, which is from creepypasta.com. So, cold-blooded fighters may be disappointed. No destroying or building blocks. Only use items gained from chests. If you want a challenge in quest, then play with monsters on, and in that case, take a sword and armor sets from the chest. If you would like an experience as close to the story as possible, then leave all weapons and armor in the chest and play on peaceful. Which, we're going to stick to the story as much as possible. So, If you really want a good atmosphere, then use a mod that lets handheld or drop torches emit light as well. Any texture pack should work. I personally use Painterly, but it's built while building the level. <laughs> Alright, we're going to use this on the normal pack. Let me load up a uh, story. You are an experienced Delunker. Your friend has gone to explore an unmapped cave alone and hasn't come back. <clears throat> you decide to go after him yourself. Pack your bag and leave for the cave. You take two packs of 30 flares as a med kit and a flare gun, which is the flint steel that you use in an emergency and you start your journey and journey is spelled wrong but we'll let that pass make sure yeah we're on peaceful I'm gonna take all these torches <laughs> and even though we're playing on peaceful I'm bound to fall a few times maybe I don't know I just like putting on armor. The boots. Yeah. I like how <laughs> the default always makes you look like you're a football player. Alright. Let's go explore this cave. Ooh. Oh, there's nothing over there. What will we find? Oh, it's over here. Whoa! No turning back. Whoa, almost fell. Well, this is precarious. Gotta make that... Ugh. Oh, come on. Ugh. <laughs> oh, this is very dangerous. <gasps> this is huge. Hope this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, we're at the bottom, no going back now.
Please open wall painting at number one. And here's what it looks like. Jackal and the cave. You see a dark scratched out figure which must be the jackal. The picture looks authentic but how could a caveman write in English? You must have must have been drawn here by some kids, you think to yourself. Creepy. Well, at least I know I'm going the right way. Uh, let's go this way. Please open wall painting number two. And here's what this one looks like. You try not to panic as you look at the picture in the text. As on the previous picture, the jackal has been scratched out leaving no detail whatsoever. You realize that this is probably this probably isn't the work of kids. Nevertheless, your friend is somewhere in this cave and needs your help, as the cave has been linear so far. Linear, there were like a bunch of passages back there. You have no other option other than to keep on going straight forward. Well, it looks linear now. Ooh, this looks like it could get like a really big here. Oh, it's the snow. Please open wall painting number three. This is your last chance. Is he flipping me the bird? Huh. Uh. As you are horrified by the painting, you look at the gateway. Something tells you that there, that bad things are going to happen while you step through there. You notice that the cave floor is covered with a fine white dust. You can't tell what exactly that is, though. Suddenly you hear a scream. It must be your friend. You don't want to go through the gate, but you must. You, all, you can also feel the darkness getting thicker, almost as if it were alive. <clears throat> you almost notice the light from your torches has become more dimmer. See, for better experience, to experience the story better, please change your normal torches to redstone ones in the chest. What chest? Oh. Redstone torches. Lovely. The gateway to the jackal. This is the backpack of your friend. He's close. Some more torches. Some really ominous music. Oh crap! Where am I? How did I survive that? Looks like I wasn't supposed to survive that. Uh, is there a way out?
Well, gotta get back up there. There's cobblestone up there. Let's see what that is real fast. Oh, redstone dust. I know I'm not supposed to cheat, but I clearly took a wrong path. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Ah, here we go. I have seen it and it blinded me. This is its domain. Taller than any human. Let's read it. Uh this message is in lowercase like the other unlike the others and you recognize your friend's writing it cut me I'm running for my life This peaceful music so does not fit. You hear a flat, terrible, and loud voice. It has no source or direction. This is my cave. The other one screamed before I took him. You will remain here forever. You think what happened to all others who came here. They all died and you will. And as you, they all died as you will. But you understand that the jackal can read your mind. You need to clear your mind to fight the darkness. In front of you, you see the blurry shape of the jackal, holding your friend in front of him, speaking through him. He's trying to attack your mind. You have to think positive thoughts to weaken it. And then use the flare gun to get rid of the evil for good. That's cloth. Oh, I didn't bring the flare gun! One sec. Okay, I just so happened <clears throat> to find one in a corner somewhere, so... Whoa, that hurt. Whoa, is that my friend? Goodbye, Mr. Jackal. I'm gonna use your firelight to see this. You fire the flare and the jackal bursts into flames as the world around you explodes. Thanks for playing this short adventure. <laughs> oh, that was clever. Ooh, that's... This is a nice area. I like this. Okay, buddy. It's time for us to go. Do, do. Did you bring climbing equipment? We're not going to get out of that hole. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks for watching, guys.